New Amazon Sparrow AI robot arm to automate the handling of millions of different items. Sparrow is Amazon's newest intelligent robot arm system powered by computer vision artificial intelligence, which speeds up fulfillment processes for products prior to packaging. Amazon stated that the Sparrow AI robot arm is a significant technological advance designed to help their employees. In the last year, Amazon has been at the forefront of technological advancement, making substantial investments in robotics as well as advanced technology for its business. Amazon's engineers, roboticists, computer programmers, and others are working to develop solutions to automate basic functions of their warehouses, such as the way things are moved, handled, sorted, identified, and stored. The most crucial part of Amazon's fulfillment process is the way in which products are packed before being shipped out to customers. Advanced technology moves totes to employees who choose the items to be packaged. Once the items have been packed up, robotic arms, such as the Robin and Cardinal Automation robots, then direct packages to different parts of the warehouse before beginning their journey of delivery. With Amazon's emphasis in robotics and automation, they realized there was an opportunity to go deeper into research and development in order to help the individual handling of products. There are millions of items in all shapes and sizes that are available on Amazon warehouse shelves, and they saw the possibility of inventing new technologies that could assist in handling them at scale. The company says they are very excited for their latest Sparrow robotic arm system, which is an improved FANUC robot arm, to drastically optimize product handling throughout the course of operations. This is the first artificial intelligence-powered robotic arm system in their warehouses that can autonomously recognize the presence of, pick, and then handle individual items from Amazon's inventory. Sparrow represents a significant advance in industrial robotics. Utilizing computer vision, Sparrow can recognize and manage millions of objects. In the last year, employees from all over the world picked, stowed, and packed around 5 billion packages, which is equal to more than 13 million boxes per day. Amazon says the robotics technology allows employees to work more efficiently rather than having to work harder while also increasing worker safety. Beyond the technological advances of Sparrow, Amazon said they are looking forward to the benefits that will be brought to both customers and employees. The robot can handle routine tasks, allowing employees to spend their energy and time on more important tasks. Amazon claims that their development and implementation of various forms of artificial intelligence and robotics technology has created more than 700 new types of jobs within the company. New Google AI robot arm plays ping pong almost like a pro. Based on the Google AI training platform called iSim2 Real, which stands for Simulation to Real Life, the robot arm was able to hold a 340-shot-long ping-pong competition with a human. The robot's core objective in this case was to carry on a ping-pong rally with a human for as long as possible. The computer vision AI-powered robot is able to play table tennis with either a person or another robot, and Google says the robot arm was trained on real-world scenarios and simulations to become a proficient ping-pong player. The Google artificial intelligence researchers wanted to develop an environment that would allow a robot arm to play with humans in the real world, but they had to overcome a chicken and egg problem. They needed to collect instances of humans interacting with a robot arm in order to build the simulation to train the robot, but their robot arm didn't play well enough to do it yet. The Google researchers decided to alternate between training in simulations and using a robot in the real world until the robot accrued enough skill to go fully into the simulation. With each iteration, both the human behavior model and policy are improved, and they stopped iterating once they were able to finally enjoy playing ping pong with the robot. Google AI says its future plans are to develop a robotic coach that can alter its play style to match the skill level of the participant to keep the game challenging and thrilling. They say that this robot serves as a testing ground for research into human-robot interaction with fast-paced tasks that require agility. Robot learning is used to solve a variety of demanding real-world tasks, such as dexterous manipulation, as well as locomotion and grasping. It is not as common to see robots applying their learning to fast-moving, agile activities which require close-loop human-robot communication like table tennis. New machine learning AI leverages diffusion models to create a multitask in-painting algorithm of brain tumors. Brain imaging data can be scarce and difficult to gather due to patient privacy protocols, resulting in a shortage of high-quality datasets that can be used to train machine learning models. To combat this, researchers from Mayo Clinic 
have turned to denoising diffusion probabilistic models, DDPNs, also referred to as diffusion models. This is a novel kind of image generation machine learning AI model, which outperforms general adversarial networks in terms of their synthetic image output variety and quality. These particular kinds of generative models allow for the creation of synthetic data which advances machine learning research, medical imaging quality, and patient care, all without infringing on patient privacy and at a fraction of the cost. Despite their immense success in creating digital medical imaging datasets, generative adversarial neural networks, also known as GANs, are frequently criticized for their inability to produce outputs of sufficient variety. Deep learning AI models that autoencode are a more common alternative to GANs since they are simpler to train and generate different outputs. However, results from synthetic models do not have the same image quality as GANs. Diffusion models that are based on Markov chain theory can produce synthetic outputs by gradually denoising an image that is packed by randomly generated Gaussian noise. The process of iterative denoising results in the diffusion model's inference running much slower than the other models. However, it allows them to draw more accurate characteristics from their input data, which means they perform better than other models. The researchers proposed a proof-of-concept machine learning AI model that could be utilized to paint multitask brain tumors on multisequential NRI research in their methodological paper. The researchers designed the machine learning model to take a two-dimensional axial slice from a brain imaging scan and then paint an area that is user-defined from the crop slice with a real and programmable image of the glioma that is high-grade and includes its associated components like the surrounding swelling or otherwise tumor-free brain tissue. Within the United States, the incidence of high-grade glioma is 3.56 per 100,000 individuals and there are only a few publicly accessible MRI datasets for brain tumors. The model will let the artificial intelligence researchers modify artificial tumoral or non-tumor tissues with customizable features that can be applied to brain MRI slices with a very small amount of data and is already open-sourced on GitHub. By the way, did you know deep learning AI engineers make an average salary of $144,000 per year with bonuses and benefits, all while working remotely? You could start learning for free today from world-famous deep learning AI researcher Andrew Ning, the co-founder of Google Brain, to work as a machine learning engineer from home. So get started for free today on Coursera.org with the link below to earn your deep learning AI specialization online at your own pace and join the AI industry where there is a massive shortage of talent that companies are battling for to hire. Click now and transform your income potential with the power of artificial intelligence.